Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel. We're gonna start a new game, and we're gonna go for, I say, uh, the, well, married couple challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge. It's not a challenge, but I'm trying to get my wife and my, uh, well, Ted and the wife. And keep those two alive as long as possible. At least that's the plan. We still don't have to grab the kids, so we're saving time there. All right, there she is, right around the corner. There's the radio, very good. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start with her. And yeah, see that we both stay alive as long as possible. Because last time I did it alone. You know, the uh, Ted does it all by himself. Self-made man challenge, whatever. Uh, it kind of turned out that he went crazy, ran out of the bunker, and that was it. Yeah. Couldn't do much about that. That was totally up to the game. Uh, the random gods. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, I'm not taking you, daughter. You're not You're not gonna come with us. I am intrigued. She has this, like, nice benefit where she turns into the mutant, which is really great. Okay, we got plenty of food. I feel water is, like, a little bit sparse here. Let's grab uh, too much food. Weasel, too much food. There's water, and there's a Boy Scout book. Ooh, playing cards and map. Yes, absolutely. Going for that. Absolutely. Uh, did I get the book? I don't remember. I'll take the gas mask. Oh, the rifle! No! Okay. Quick, quick, we can grab the rifle. Um... Ah, we made it! With the rifle in hand. Last possible second. That was really close. Man. Okay, so, husband and wife, Dolores! Are you happy that I decided to leave the kids behind? Because look at all the stuff we got. We can always send her out later. Uh, for the beginning, we're just gonna scoot through this. Uh, just the two of us. Just the two of us. You and I. But surely this is just a drill there. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Best stock shelter. Actually, I gotta say, it's a really nice shelter. And of course, there's gonna be an earthquake coming up right away. Destroying everything that I gathered. That's just day two earthquake. It just seems to be the thing that... The, the cool thing. That's the cool thing the game does now. Like the cool kids. Alright, uh, that was anything to report. Nothing. It's all been calm. Very well. Um, yeah, we're not preparing for an expedition right away. We're, we're doing okay. Someone is very seriously about banging on our hatch. We're scared to open, but if it might be some good news, we would gladly welcome any face. You know what? I want to see who knocks at the door. I, I always say no to this. I might have said once at one time. I don't know what it gives us. I think he stole water. No, he gave us water. Who of Turtles wearing gas masks, carrying some serious looking equipment. Gave us purified water. Neato! Alright. So they want water now. No, not today. Not today. It's not happening. That should be day three without water. Did I miscount? Because day one, day two, ah, it's just, let's get him water. Let's just be safe on this end. I thought I was counting this properly. Anyway, that radio of ours has been silent. No, we're not gonna meddle with it. We're having finally a good situation where we can deal with most of the things that the military is gonna throw at us to speed up the, you know, deployment. Let's just, here, a uh, map somewhere in there. Just because I can't put it down. We're sure are experiencing technical difficulties. Yes, it is. Um, good mood today. Nothing's changing, nobody wants water. Exciting times. And we're gonna use the Boy Scout book to take care of the trash. I've never been a Boy Scout, nor have I read a Boy Scout book. But the idea of having like a Boy Scout book with like really handy tips in there actually sounds like a good idea or something similar, just like a survival book, I guess. Sounds like a good idea to have. A small one though, so you can take it with you. Today's been a fine day. Everything's doing all right. Everything's good. All right. First week in our little shelter. It's getting cozy. I think she's warming up to us. I like that we, you know, nobody has gone crazy yet. That's good, 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 good. Keeping themselves company. Ted is hungry and he wants water. So feeding and water is gonna be in two more days. So I'm just hoping for something that the military is going to bring us. And no earthquake, please. And no flood. Floods equally worse. Okay, one more day without water. And they're good. Oh, come on. 
It's a flood. Of course it's a flood. Oh, you have a lot of equipment? Well, let me screw you over with my water. And here goes our playing cards and our map. At least we have the checkers board and an axe. Not that it's that much worth. Look at that. Why did I even bother to bring this? The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. Anyway, we need water today. It's the third day. So here you go, guys. Enjoy. Uh, we feel very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was watching us. Well, then let's deal with it with the axe. Chop it up to pieces and eat it. Put it on a stick. Roast it. Yum, yum, yum. Mutant creature kebab. Uh, whatever it was, it's dead now. Good. Okay, still no water, no food requested. All right, let's listen to the radio that we can't do anything with because we lost our map and our playing cards. I just feel I get incredibly unlucky with those floods. The military is there and it's gonna come. Yes, let's just hope that they don't want anything from us. Uh, do you want anything? Nope, we're all good. Day 11 goes great. I'm not gonna send the lords yet. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, day 12. I'm still waiting for the message that it's safe. Maybe two weeks. I think two weeks is good. All right, so they want water. I think if I give them water on a third day, I'm gonna send her tomorrow. I'm gonna give them water tomorrow as well. So that's what we're gonna do. It's just after two days, but ah, whatever. It's fine. Just making sure that this will work. So we were able to get a weak signal. Guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone perfect. So we don't need to use our uh, mask anymore. I think I, I still think we're going to use it. I don't know if it's going to break, but yeah, water. Water now. And she... Hmm. Would get him on the same schedule. Because she might come back and be hungry. Ah, it's fine. Let's not worry about this. Uh, she goes outside. She can do this. So she should not be hungry and thirsty because if she goes outside, and that's my thinking, and gets hungry while she's outside, I can't feed her. And if you don't feed her the first day they say that they're hungry, then they're gonna require two portions. All right, Ted is hungry. Good that I fed her because she probably is hungry as well today. So that worked out great. Poor Ted all alone. No one to talk to, nothing new. You can do this, please don't go crazy. Ah, there it goes again. Noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Yes, play some checkers and we'll save him from getting crazy. So it's actually, uh, if you are playing with less characters, it's really important to have entertainment options. At least I think so. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, uh, save that one day. Hard to decipher from the end Oh, yes, I want to restore it. Please restore it with the Boy Scout book. Rescore, res please restore the map. And she's back, and she's not sick. She destroyed the map, but that's okay. We got the map back, yay! Exciting. We were glad to see Dolores come back from the wasteland. The Allison Hotel was completely destroyed. Piles and piles of luggage were lying between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms on lower levels partially survived. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they were a five-star hotel. Everyone was stuck with water bottles for guests. Another bottle, Nido. One of the luggage bags was filled with a wide array of different flashlight models. Ooh, nice, we got one. Well, I don't care that's damaged, that's fine. Maybe we can repair it later, who knows. Anyway, she would like to eat and he would like to drink. Um, hmm. We're gonna give them the whole array of food and water. And we're not gonna send anyone so far. I mean, I could send Ted. Just, he's, she's not sick. We don't have a gas mask though, so eh, let's not send them. If we don't have to, we're not gonna do that. Shine your boots and hoist the flag, the army's on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready to signal their aircraft. Yes, absolutely so happening. We can do this. I have, I'm not saying I have a good feeling about this because that would me jinx, be jinxing it. I'm saying I have a horrible feeling about this. I'm gonna die, I'm not gonna make it. You know, reverse psych. Psychology thing, no magic. Okay, so everyone was working as planned. Yes, she would really like to eat something. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. I, I, I fed you just before you went off. I don't think that worked, whatever I did back there. So, eh, 
We'll see if that goes well. All right, you two. What's going on? We could barely sleep after last night. Well, so you're tired. Hmm. Hasn't eaten in a while. Isn't complaining today. I just fed you like two times. That totally did not work at all. I don't understand what's going on with the food. Might be a little buggy there. This dreadful silence is becoming boring. Yes, then listen to the radio. You should do that in general just to see if there's a broadcast. Why do I have to tell you to listen to the radio? Also, if you get a radio, you should think about one way you can crank up the batteries or so. Because if you run out of batteries, that would be unfortunate. Uh, but I think you're supposed to bring many batteries for everything. Anyway. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores has to drink something. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. 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 Uh, you can have water. And, um... Oof. Oh, wait. First day without water. Never mind. She... Okay. That seems to be like a box. She has not eaten in a while. She seems to need food every day now. Uh, when Dolores came back from that expedition the other way, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. Okay. I'm going to use the med kit on her because the axe might be used for the lumberjack part. Um, and I don't want to ruin the axe. Maybe we can still gather one. All right. Finally, she says she doesn't want any food. Okay, let's give him water because I did not count properly. And we're going to prepare an expedition and Ted is going to go out tomorrow. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that's green stuff dropping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try to do something about it. Yes, we should. Very good idea. Anyway, let's send Ted today. That's my plan. Make yourself useful. Everyone's calm. No food for anyone. And you should go outside, buddy. Go, go, power Ted. Day 23. They accepted me of one of theirs. Okay, so no, nothing, really nothing new. Completely boring day. Just that fly. I wish it would disappear after I hit it because, you know, I killed it. The same. Okay, water's all that Dolores wants. And I just want to dance. We can both have the same thing because I'm recording right now so I can't dance. We received another army transmission this morning. We, we should not we wish it would mark the end of our stay, but it seems the military has other plans. All survivors in there were asked to head to the nearby park and chop down as many trees as possible. Yes, so we're gonna do that. We're chopping down the trees. That's why I wanted to keep the axe to speed up the process. That's day two without water for the Lars. And we ruined the axe by doing so. Ah, well. We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it will make the difference they wanted. Next time they get in touch, it better be from a tank parked on our lawn or what's left of it. We only regret that is our wood chopping business ruined our axe. I totally screwed up that sentence, but you can get it. Anyway, uh, let's give her water. I just don't want to risk it. Everything would be fine if it wasn't for Dolores. She doesn't seem well. She used to be so energetic and happy. Now she just sits there and sulks. We should do something about it. Yes, give her the Boy Scout book and let her read it. There's maybe something interesting about it in there. All right, Ted. Ted is sick. Lovely. He might die. Did you bring us something? Ted has safely returned from his voyage. Our expedition went directly to visit the primary school. We got one can of soup, two bottles of water. Ah, uh, that's great. Actually, I have, I have I read this one? Oh yeah, I have. The biology class had an aquarium. The fish had died since no one fed them, but the aquarium water could still be drinkable. There was enough for a few bottles. The PE teacher was a World War II veteran. He kept some of his war trophies and memorabilia in his office. This included grenades, a bazooka, and a fully functional gas mask. You did not bring the grenade slash the bazooka? I mean, then again, that would really suck to use that in a shelter. Hey, we got a mask. Doesn't help him because he's sick now. And he's hungry. Yeah, I wish I could use this tit. I wish. But. Yeah. I thought it would be fine, but then again, we did not get the information that it's now safe to travel outside. That seems to be random too. Or I missed it. Chances are I missed it. Alright. Every time I picked up a new scene. Yes, she would like to eat something. He would like to eat something into drinking something. Um. Oh, I should have just... Yeah, one, one, he can make one more day. 
about water, absolutely. I'm always worried when they're sick, I feel it affects how long they can stay without water or food. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity. Necessity. All right, perfect. Something growling. Uh, we're gonna use the rival to defend ourselves. We're going outside right now. Even though we didn't tell them and shoot at whatever it was. And that worked great. It ran away. Good. Doris will not last without water. Ted wants water and his stomach is grumbling. Water for everyone. You go, guys. No expedition. No. That's not happening. Not happening. All right. I think I can manage two days without water as soon as they're asking, but I'm worried that on the third day it's too long. All right. Ted is still hungry. Damn it. It's really bad when you don't feed them properly while they're out. You're gonna have to give them, like, free cans. It's silly. The waste is full of surprises like this man on the other side knocking and claiming he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? Oh, I'm not gonna give him that. He's just gonna walk away with it. And we don't have ammunition. I'm not gonna trade away my checkers board. Never a good idea. All right, day two without water. I will try. Oh, right, this... Never mind, not yet. I gave him something last time. I forgot, my bad. Uh, did anyone complain? Um, nope. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing bad happening. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here. I don't have a med kit. I kind of wonder where the military is. We did two events. We used the flashlight, we used the axe. Nothing happening. Anyway. Water. Okay, now they're asking for water. Nobody's going outside because... I know it says another military announcement, but I can't send anyone. They're both sick. So... That's a big problem. All right, day two. And let's, uh, yeah, day three is gonna come up. <sighs> I'm too worried about everyone. Okay, now it's time for water. So they can make three days. Okay, without one in water. And she wants food, food and water for everyone. We are not alone. There's a huge cherry bunny beast. Um, yes, we can let it be here when we sleep. Well, then shoot the bunny beast. Shoot the bunny beast. <laughs> that might ruin our rifle. Yes, it ruined our rifle. We don't have an axe, we don't have a rifle. As soon as raiders come, we're screwed. Damn it. Damn you, bunny beast. Our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Damn it, bunny. She's doing well. Not complaining. This is actually a big problem. I am not able to survive against <laughs> raiders. And sometimes raiders come so fast. <sighs> We've done fighting, yes, yes, everything's good. Nobody's complaining about anything. For an isolated shelter, we sure had a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise down here since we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor. And coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. Let's do that with our flashlight that hopefully doesn't break. Okay, we're not injured. Wait, she was injured, damn it. What the hell, we barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile. Oh well. So, yeah. She was hurt. Great, 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 great stuff. Great stuff. I don't feel I'm doing much better without my kids, honestly. At least with my kids, I can can send them constantly scavenging. Um. Yes, water. Let's give him water tomorrow. One of the cupboards was a bit shaky, so we pulled it and found a new home. Oh, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Let's check out the secret door, and hopefully it has a rifle, and playing cards, and food, and water, and medicine. Oh, apparently it had nothing. Found nothing. That was a waste of time. Well, you got nothing else to do. She will not survive without any water. Yep, it's that time of day, uh, that time where they get water again. Another message message from the military. They want us to send a person out to meet them. <sighs> yeah, I can't. I really wish I could. Not happening. Please knock on my door. Please, military. We're not doing well here. The world would really like to eat something. Yes, here you go. Oops, sorry, that's water. Alarm, there's a group of people outside and they don't seem too friendly. 
They don't sound too concerned with the well-being of the neighborhood anymore, but they are very serious about angrily waving the heavy flashlights. We need to do something before they break and take everything we have. Well, as long as they don't kill us... Well, they killed Ted. Ted has been sick for so long and he was too weak to keep going on. He passed away in his sleep. Ted was badly wounded during the assault. This is not looking good. Well, at least Dolores is still alive. So that's great. Yeah, I'm not gonna send her out anyway. Well, they killed Ted. God damn it. Why'd you kill Ted? He was so, he was great. I really liked the Ted, but you know, well, he can't do anything about it. Oh, there should be some water left. Laura should get it. Ah, why not? I'm just gonna... I, I can give her anything. She has like 20 more days just on water herself. So... I'm not too worried about counting anymore. I'm just gonna give him as soon as I see something. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. We have a working radio. Yes, please use it. Catch a broadcast so you're not gonna go crazy. I mean, crazier than before. I think that really helps out a little bit. Oh, damn it. Something blew up inside the radio and the wretch thing caught fire. Okay. Her wounds are pretty bad. Yes, I would totally give her something. But I can't. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Nobody cares about Uncle Brian, but feel free to look in the Boy Scout book. Why is the radio broken? I mean, Dolores has a drink sometimes. I'm just waiting for the radio. She's in bad shape. Is there anything we can do for her? No, I don't have a med kit. I think she's gonna die. Now she's ill. I think the inspection. Poor, poor Dolores, we are not optimistic. And she got ill. Well, I'm pretty sure she's gonna die. We can't gamble with that man. She's gonna be dead today or tomorrow, one of these days. Look at her, she looks like a zombie already. <sighs> Dolores' health has not improved. I'm not surprised by that, I'm just gonna give her food now. All the time and water. In the hopes that this will kill her more slowly. Dolores really has lost it today. We caught her red-handed, gorging on our supplies and completely ignoring our strict but fair rationing policy. When we insisted that she stop, first she became really irritated and in her dismay she burst into tears apologizing for her behavior. We really don't know what to make of this. <sighs> Is there anything you can do about her injuries? No, we lost a can of soup. Well, that's a shame. Uh, maybe be a little bit more rationing. I don't, I don't think we're gonna make day 50 with her. There's no box spray, there's no medikit. Well, at least they're not saying she's sick. We were never huge fans of mushrooms, but we were calling if them growing in one of the walls. We changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? You know what? Yeah. Eat them. You might... It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? You're gonna get some food. Or sick. Those were delicious. Our only concern is that they were glowing in the dark. And now we are too far that matter. Uh, I guess that's okay. Okay, I think day 50, last day. No, we made day 50 with her. That's great. Not that you could call this life anymore. Yes, she will not survive without water any longer. Here's some water. Here's some food. Yeah, let's, let's keep the food. Here's some water. Trash is becoming full of empty soup cans, so let's do something with the Boy Scout book. And I think she died. Yup, she died. She diddly diddly died. That was close, and as of the glowing box might have been more to bear. Dolores suffered with her injuries for far too long. When the infection spread, there was nothing we could do. 51 days. I was really hoping that this would work. Next time, I'm gonna go go for the whole family again. And I'm open to any kind of suggestions you have. This is hard. This is... This game is gonna break me. Like, really gonna break me. I could just try easy. I mean... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode that resulted in failure again. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.